Welcome back to the Odyssey. I am Mike Odyssey. And in this video, it's all about downloading 100% free games. And I'm going to teach you how to do just that in this video. Yep. And in return, if you find this video super incredibly helpful, please give me a subscribe. Go ahead and subscribe down below. Hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below. And guess what? Overall, join our amazing community if you would love to make friends in the Nintendo community and have people just there having fun with our Discord, our community here down below in the community area. Then consider subscribing to this video because we are going to go ahead and download free games. Now, let me break it down for you. I'm going to teach you four ways, four ways to download and obtain free games on Nintendo Switch, right? So I'm going to go ahead. First, I'll teach you how to get the free games straight up. The very, very free games. No, it's no strings attached. So literally, there's a lot of free games on, on the on the Nintendo Switch, and I'm going to teach you that. Number two, I'm going to teach you how to download the, the demos, okay? There are demos out there that you can actually, with a lot of gameplay on them, you can try games before you buy them if you're looking to buy. So there are also free Number three, we'll talk about uh, game trials, which is another form of free games and what is attached to that as well. And also how to borrow digital games on Nintendo Switch. So basically there's another a tutorial attached to it at the end of the video that will be very helpful to you. If you have a brother, a sister, a cousin, a best friend that you will love to kind of borrow their games, but they have only digital games, you can actually do that. And I'm gonna, I'll leave timestamps for everything down below so that you can actually just pinpoint the one you, you want. Favorite this video so that you can come back to it every time you, you need to in order for you to download these games. So now, let's get started. All right, so we are here at our gameplay screen and we're gonna start right from the beginning. That way you guys get and don't get lost, know exactly what to do. And let's go ahead and get started here from the very um, home screen. The first thing you're going to do is, of course, go to the eShop. And uh, yeah, you select your account. Select the account that you want these free games attached to. All right. So I'm only I'm also going to teach you how to get games that basically cost money. But in a way, you can get them for free in a, in, in, in a way that I'm going to teach you in, in a little bit. OK, I'm going to go ahead and from here, go to the search on top and then go over to price range all right this is the very first part easiest way to get free games is doing this and then you'll see here price range right but you go all the way down to the bottom and then you'll find all of the free games down here now let's go over the list here because i mean the, the this list is incredible these games are completely free and i really don't believe all these games are free but they are and they're, they're amazing look look at this fall guys okay fall guys is a multiplayer i mean an amazing game we have fall guys tournaments on here on the channel and it's a free game so subscribe for that uh we got fortnite as well completely free overwatch 2 man this is just incredible and we also have here just dance this is crazy just dance is completely free here you know rocket league tetris 99 pac-man pokemon assault 90 whatever you like when it comes to games and shooters you know you know these multiplayer games like fall guys there are games here that are 100% free. Look, Kirby Clash, you know, it's like a fighting game. There's games for everybody here. If you like Smash, there's a, there's a version of Smash here called Brawlhalla, which is awesome. It has a whole bunch of characters you can choose from. You know, maybe, maybe watching this entire list could be a little bit overwhelming, but you're looking for a specific type of game, right? On this side, on the left side here, you see why I just kind of put my mouse here or my, um, the what do you call that? The, the cursor or whatever, right? That's free right there. So I was going to say free because we're looking at free games. But here, genre, right? You can actually select the genre that you want to play. If you like adventure games, arcade, and let's say I'm going to go ahead and select adventure and select OK, it'll actually populate only the adventure games, OK? Only a games that have adventure within them. They're pretty long games, right? And uh, if you want to do it on arcade games, right? Arcade, like shooters and stuff, unselect this one and then select the arcade game, and that will happen too. Now, if you want to just point point the shooters, because I know a lot of you out there, out there, you guys like shooters. There is also another. Uh, there, there's a shooter here, so make sure that you unselect first the other one, so that only that particular type of game, you know, shows up. And then, voila, it'll show up all the shooters we have here for free. Okay, they're all free. Not yeah, of course. If you you can also do the same thing, just select the ones that you want. 
um, to show up and then, uh, you know, and then press OK. And only those type of games will show up, just saving you a lot of time and a lot of browsing time. So you don't have to look through it, you know, through all of them. Just pick the games that are suitable for you that you, you like, that you like, you know, because it's all about you and your own likes. So that's an easy way to get around this free game was. Now, there's another type of free game here, which is technically free, and, and this is demos. I mean technically free because they are free to download and they do give you plenty of gameplay time, but they're demos, right? They are, they're, they're, they're games that are meant for you to test to see if you would love to play them. But guess what, have you ever played a game, right? That you said, you know what, this game, um, not too great about, not too crazy about it. You know, and, and then you actually paid for it. Well, demos is a great way to find out whether you like it or not. Because, you know, you might, oh, man, I want this game up so bad. And, and I, I want to spend all this money. But then all of a sudden you actually buy it. And you say, oh, I mean, I, I don't like it as much as I thought I, I, I was going to like it. Demos is the perfect place to go. And you want to go ahead and download. All these games are here. Yeah, but you want what you want to make sure is that when you actually do select the game, Right, you select any game that you want. You're you're redirected to where you can check out. You have to go ahead and you know go ahead and highlight where it says download demo right below because it's gonna tell you proceed to purchase. But no, and make sure that you download demo right below. When you click on here, it, it, it'll bypass all the checkout stuff. It'll go straight to downloading the game, so you don't have to enter any type of information. So make sure don't proceed to purchase. Download demo right there so that's basically right there now now there are other ways that you can get free games okay on the nintendo switch but this requires you to have a nintendo online membership and this is called game trials okay game trials is something new that nintendo uh introduced about a year or two ago where they actually give you access to the entire game for free not 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 like a demo but the entire in the entirety of a game for for about seven seven days i think right sometimes a little more but hey people have beaten games in less than seven days so if you have all the time in the world and you want to play a game that is great but you do have to have access to nintendo online and uh nintendo online memberships for one membership for an individual is about twenty dollars a year, which is which is crazy, right? Twenty dollars a year for Nintendo Online. You get twelve months of Nintendo Online for the individual pack right here, and then you get access to NES, uh, Super Nintendo games, to so Nintendo games and Super Nintendo games, a big giant library of games because of the Nintendo Online for twenty dollars a year, a year, a year. So. That's pretty good. Of course, if you, there, there's upgrades to expansion pack, which gives you access to Super Nintendo. I mean, Nintendo 64 and Sega Genesis. But we're talking about Nintendo Online uh, in regards to those game trials, okay? Those game trials will actually give you access to huge games. For Like, like for example, uh, let's say they release a game trial for Mario Kart 8. Or Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, or a game trial for any type of in particular game. So you want to make sure that when you do a game trial, you have Nintendo Online because that's the only way it's available to you. And you have access to the entire game. And another way that you can get games is by borrowing them from your from your friends, right? And guess what? Yes, you can also borrow digital games. Yeah, digital games that you know are on other accounts, and you can do this because. The game is actually attached to the account, so you are able to add accounts to your Nintendo Switch besides your own, and I'm going to teach you that right now. So let's go ahead and go back here. So this is the game trials, right? You need Nintendo Online for 20 bucks a year in order to get these game trials that Nintendo always releases. If they were, if there was a game trial right now, it will be on this screen. But right now, there's not an uh, advertised when it's the end of the year. Um, so, but they are going to be having like many game trials there. So if they were a game trial, this is what you would find. There was a special offers. Okay. Uh, but let's go ahead and teach you how to down, how to borrow digital games on Nintendo switch, which is another way of you getting games. Okay. So right here in the section of the settings area, we have an area 
where you can uh, manage your users in your accounts. Okay. So on users, we have three users here. I have just three, um, three different users that I've added here, but you can also add more, right? So we're going to start by adding a user to the account. Okay. Of course you have to close everything else. I, I was playing that game earlier, but you close that, right? You create a new user right uh, and then you select of course the icon this is probably going to change later because when you once you attach that account to this um this switch then their icon is probably going to come over as well so i'm going to go ahead and just select luigi for now right once you go ahead and i'm going to put this as a test account test right here uh like go uh, here test all right after you do test you press ok and this is where you are going to add that account from your friend, from a family member. Let's say you have a cousin that has a Nintendo Switch. And man, your cousin has better games than you or more games than you can. That's not fair. That's not cool. But guess what? You can actually go ahead and link their account here. If they trust you, they want to, you know, help you out and say, hey, uh, hey, cousin, can you, can you, um, can I borrow your password and your, your user ID for, um, for Nintendo online? Um, you know, do this with family members and very close friends, not just anybody because you can't trust everybody, but with, with, with family members and, and close friends is a good way to actually save money on games and to share games that are digital. Um, then you go ahead and sign in here with, uh, their, their Nintendo ID and their password. Once you sign in with their Nintendo ID and their password, then automatically their account will also be part of your Nintendo Switch. You can also remove it whenever you want. And and no worries, your account will always be the main here. But you can see up top of here, there's a new one here, the, the test one that I created. That'll be linked to their account. So when you do go to the Nintendo eShop down here, you know how it, it asks you to basically kind of, you know, add here an account then you're go you are going to select their account well as you see i did not add any account to here but i'm going to go ahead and select mine just an example but right here you select their account okay they the, the account you just added from your very best friend from your family member somebody you highly trust and guess what if you have a friend who doesn't have any games if you have a cousin a brother or sister who doesn't have many games then this is also a good way to share your account with them so that they can also enjoy. Now, we're back on the screen. We're going to go ahead and highlight the, the little icon in the top corner over here. You can see it right up there. I go highlight this little corner. You see how I highlighted the little corner on top of my little profile picture? You know, go ahead and click on that because this is a shortcut to where you can actually find all the games. And right there where it says redownload. See, come scroll down twice. No. Guys, go up, go up, down. There you go. There, that's where you're going to go ahead and redownload, and you'll see a list of all of their games. You see, we're basically here, all of the games that this person owns. And, and of course, that little, this, this little tab right here on the side, that's where you would download, you start downloading the game. So you can just select from the list that they have here. I mean, I'm a game reviewer, so I have a... I have over 99, uh, I have a lot of games, you know, so basically you get, um, you get, you get, you know, to pick the game that you want here and then download it to your Nintendo switch. Um, and they see that basically that's it. Once you have clicked on there, um, the game will start downloading. And then once you start playing the game, what you want to do, of course, is let's say, uh, let's say this is the game that you want to play you select their account again, and then you start playing again. If you select your account with their game, it's not, it's not gonna work. You have to select their account when you start playing the game. That way, uh, the Nintendo can verify the game is, has been bought by an account that is on your Switch, okay? So basically, borrowing free game, borrowing games from your neighbors, if they have Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, they have uh, any other game that you'd love to play, and you know it's it's a great way to also have games without spending a lot of this right and uh yeah that's basically it that's all the ways you can actually get free games on nintendo switch you get the free ones you get the demo ones you get the trial ones and you can also borrow digital borrow and you know digital games as well hopefully nintendo 
we'll add a platform or do something so we can actually buy and sell digital games we're tired of playing them buy 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 them you know from a friend or something or transfer them right transfer games if you want if i want to gift one of my digital games to somebody else i can transfer them from account to account hopefully that'll that, that'll come in the future all right that was how to download free games on nintendo switch i gave you the four uh, major ways you guys can get your nintendo switch uh games make sure that when you do borrow digital games or you do want to let anybody else um have access to your digital games or people you trust family members best friends and etc so yeah um it's it's, it's a it's a nintendo community we, we want to support each other um consider subscribing if you find this video helpful and uh join our community right free games there's nothing better than that uh we have a fall guys tournament which is another free game here on the channel subscribe for that and and then we're here in an amazing family friendly family content nintendo community just to have fun and just to enjoy day-to-day -day life in the nintendo world all right guys thank you guys so much for watching this video but before i let you go i want you to know two very important things i i end every single video with in this number one never ever give up and number two journey on peace Sun is coming up, I'm ready to go We can take a ride, we can take it slow Your will is my law, I'ma let you be the boss Cause I'm going you